Where well, your baby's at? School? That's for um, you got to go to school to Santee, so. You got to go all the way out to Santee? Yeah. So I put my sister, my sister to go to Santee, Santee, that's my thing. It takes me almost half a day just to go back and forth. Yeah, to it's be always a pain in the butt. Yeah, yeah Marnock is full. They don't have no more <laughs> room because there's so many damn people homeless. That's why they don't have no room. Because, like, do you notice that the ventilation around there is not good as far as they have that stupid fan going? Some people are starting to lose, I mean, me, I don't lose my voice, I've never lost my voice, and this is one time that I'm actually losing my voice, because I don't think there's a proper ventilation, we're getting everybody journey. Yeah, and everybody is right, and then you got the Funky Feet family, they sit right there in front of me, and look, then one night, Kim just insisted them with my feet just thing. I said, I'm not my feet just thing. Every morning I go in that bathroom, I got diaper wipes, I wipe my feet, I change my socks every morning, every morning. And then I didn't tell it to her like that, but I was just told her, you know, yeah, don't know my feet. And then she was like, it don't have to be your feet, it could be your shoes. So I picked my shoes up and put, and put them up to her because, you know, we on the floor, they stand up over us. So I put my shoes up to her I said, you want to smell them? And so then the Funky Feet family, they just kept moving around. And the more they move, the more the worse it speak. But, yeah. but I thought I was the only one that actually smelled it. Because nobody else really said anything. And since she insinuated that it was my feet that was funky, okay, me and Makai are not the only people back here. You have us in the corner. But these people are right there, too. But you don't go to them. So then, you know, they, they see just as thinking too bad for her to accuse me. So she came out that office, you know, right there at the office. So when she came out that office, I said, uh, you, you know, you assumed it was my feet. I said, but it's there. It's the whole family. So she went and she, she didn't say nothing to the mom. She went and she said something to the little boy. And he said something. I don't know what he said because, you know, they stand and speak some people. And then she turned to me, but then, did you say something to him? I looked her dead up in her eyes. I looked straight up, looked her dead in her eyes. I said, no, I said something to you. So then she she uh, said something else to him, and he said something, and he said something about their family with people. And she's making it worse. And in my head, I said, I'm making it worse. Nick, I'm smelling y'all feed the whole fucking family. Y'all funky feed asses every goddamn night. And I'm making it worse? But he had already got smart with me a couple of nights before. So hold on. then Kim came. Kim looked at me, and, uh, and I told Kim, I said, see, you assumed it was me, me and my son feed this thing. You know, but it's the whole family. And she really owed me an apology. You know, she told me, Bettina, shut your mouth. And I said, shut my mouth. I looked at her, I said, shut my mouth. I said, mm hmm And then in my head, I kept saying, shut my mouth, shut my mouth, because I know there's a time to speak and there's a time to be silent. And that was the time to have my dumb ass silent. So then the, another night came, and then uh, we was coming from dinner. You know, they leave the sheep up. And... She just, uh, she told my son, she walked up, she said, there's a prize on the bed for you. So me and my son thinking it's a plastic bag because she had a black plastic bag on the bed for him to put his shoes in. And she told me to put my shoes in the bag, too. And so then she asked my son, she said, um, have you been drinking? And he said, no. And then she looked at me and she said, uh, have you been drinking? I said, hell no. I don't touch drink. I don't even touch an empty bottle because that shit got spirit in it. And I don't know what kind of goddamn spirit it is. And they'll tell you spirit. So, no, I didn't tell all that. I said, I don't touch it. That point to your story. And that was the second time she accused me of something. She accused you of being a thief, and you can't say nothing. But, see, if you're going to throw me out, I'm about to talk. But then they'll call the next people and tell the next people that, you know, you're this, you're that, whoopie, woo, woo, you're a troublemaker, whatever the fuck lies they tell. And then the other place won't accept you either. Then you wind up, what, sleeping on the sidewalk. They have females, females sleeping on the goddamn sidewalk. And everybody will say, oh, they're crazy, they're this, they're that. No, they're not. They're stressed out, and no one gives a fuck about them. No one cares. Well, and I, I think the funny part is like she, the funny part is like she accuses you of something, but when it shows up, she just apologizes to you. Yeah, yeah, she, she, she tells me to shut the fuck up and still apologizing. Like, that's cool. Example, like you're saying about the drinking thing, what did they go and do? Is this just because I was trying to help out a girl yeah. on Sunday that was all strung out on Xanax? We ain't got to know all that. We ain't got to know all her bitch. But I didn't know that. I walk in there, and what is everybody talking about? They're saying, I'm drunk, and I, have, I haven't I have had a drop of drink since for over you a year. You stay close to me. I never snuck anything on you. For over a year. And I can smell I somebody drinking over there. 
But then, yeah, but then... If you're drinking, let me know so I can help them, okay? Okay, okay. But then, but then, go and figure, go and figure, the other night, that, you know, they've sat there and said, I've heard that they've kicked out people because, you know, they could smell the alcohol, but yet they go and they allowed a girl standing right beside you, reeking of alcohol, and they let her come in and stay the night. But yet, they're going to start talking shit about me when I haven't had a drop of alcohol in a year and a yeah, half. Yeah, they just the same. And you, you can't even take it. You know what? They don't even give you a chance. Okay, what made me late yesterday? Me and my son, we leave from my daughter's house at a certain time. And when we leave from my daughter's house, either the bus is coming and my son, he's going to walk by traffic than me, so my son's going to get the bus. The son, my son's going to get the bus, so he wasn't with me yesterday. So then I'm walking up there, right? And all of a sudden, the bus just passed by me. This bus is like 12 minutes early, really. Literally 12 minutes early. Okay? So then... Um, you got to sit and wait another hour for the next bus. So this bus would have been a little earlier. But it just kept 